Hello there, this is Sam Brown from Paperstone Instruments and today I'm going to talk you through our new instrument, uh, Creative Junk. This is basically a collection of a hundred uh, or so objects which have been divided into these sections here, um, Foley's, Bottles, Bounce, Gamelan, Industrial, of which you just heard, uh, Jugs, Kit and Transients. Uh, this is uh, also um, joined by the stretched tuned uh, instruments which are some of the hits um, uh, stretched across the keyboard uh, chromatically to form a sort of unique playable instrument and three of the main NKIs have also been concert tuned um, which is helpful also um, so looking at the interface this has got uh, three mic positions so each hit has been sampled um, with a close mic here, which is mono, then a set of overheads, and then and then room mics. Uh, this can, uh, for each hit, be controlled independently, as you can see there, as it's in a local mode. If we switch this into global mode, uh, we can control all the hits um, collectively on the microphone section and uh, we've also got uh, a readout here on the instrument uh, telling us what the hit is we've got pan controls as you can see moving around there um, and three different methods of tuning now the fine tune here is particularly handy on uh, on some of the more musical instruments uh, as is the transpose so we have semi -trans semi semitone transpose there uh, as well as octave <clears throat> which uh, you can get a really diverse range of sounds uh, from there's a standard attack and release which is great and uh, again this local or global control just changing whether each uh, each note is being uh, controlled or each hit or whether um, they're all being controlled together again this is uh, this is a feature also found on the filter where if I switch it into global you can hear that's collectively filtering uh, whereas when we put into local mode I can take any hit and build up a, a different array of filters on that uh, on those hits. Now the effects section has been developed as well um, from our other instruments where we have uh, a similar or the same set of uh, impulses but now they're more editable um, we've got a high pass filter to thin out the reverb a size uh, to make it smaller or larger and a pre-delay to um, delay the start of the reverb so this is uh, the new interface and that was the uh, industrial NKI I'll now take my time just to show each of the NKIs and some of the stretch tuned options to really give you a feel for what this uh, collection can do the Gamelan section uh, was made up of all the more musical more tonal objects which uh, had perhaps more of a pitch or maybe just more of a sound of the Gamelan The lowest octave has more of a junk sound to it, uh, but still retains some of that uh, that gamelan flavour, which uh, which defines this section. The Paperstone Junk Kit is uh, constructed of of broken and reclaimed drums, as well as uh, other objects which sound drum-like, and together they form uh, an unusual kit uh, which sounds like this so you can hear from that there's uh, an unusual array of uh, large and smaller objects uh, making up this kit there's also some uh, 
fire damaged uh, symbols and uh, symbols with nails through them which uh, have been discarded and unloved and then uh, brought back for this kit uh, which you can hear here. <laughs> which sound great too. Right, with the jug section, we took uh, six jugs and mapped them across six octaves, each with seven hits. It's a fantastic tuned playable instrument which uh, yeah sounds great in the room. Okay so the bottles are similar to the uh, the jugs in the sense that uh, there are um, they are mapped across one octave with seven hits for each bottle. Here there are three bottles you can hear they're being blown as well as struck. And some of those hits have been stretched to form um, chromatic instruments uh, for, uh, for easy playability in the stretched uh, area. The Foley section really represents real world uh, objects and sort of more familiar sounds and as well as some quirky sounds which didn't fit into other categories uh, but we felt would have a musical use. Um, we'll start. The sort of footsteps are quite handy and there's some book shutting, keyboards, coins, tape measures, some nice broom sweeps. Some other quirky stuff, uh, some pool balls, and some some interesting sort of uh, some interesting uh, drink cans. So we had some fun with that, and uh, I think uh, it can certainly provide some interesting abstract rhythmic ideas for your tracks. The Bounce uh, NKI is basically uh, a collection of different balls uh, bounced on the studio floor and, uh, and that allows you to create rhythms from these bounces. Uh, so there's quite a few there's quite a few different sounds there that you can create uh, your own abstract rhythms from uh, or use in a Foley context. And now the transient section. These are the small objects which have a very fast attack and a very short release. Uh, they're basically, they're, they really excite the room so you can hear that as you... If I globally turn up the room mic you can... Hear the uh, hear the sound of the space very clearly, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is handy for those kind of small sounds which work on top of a bigger beat. The industrial instrument uh, features all the large and metallic objects struck quite hard, uh, often using metallic beaters. Uh, so this gives a more sort of typical junk sound. While we were making the creative junk, we noticed that some of the instruments, such as the hydrant, uh, work really well when mapped across the keys. Uh, 
make kind of unique playable instruments. The metal light, uh, which uh, we found in the studio, was... was also really great. And a few of the others work well. Um, give a kind of hung kind of types. A hung kind of sound. Uh, even the frying pan. It's kind of a good abstract playable instrument. If you'd like to find out more about Creative Junk or any other paperstone instruments, please visit samplism.com. And thanks for watching.